Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Charles. I want to welcome you guys to another episode of the Dreamers Pro Show, where we cover everything from sports, hot topics, classic debates, entertainment, and where we give you guys a fresh perspective on things and how we see them. And today, we got a pretty interesting episode for you guys that we want you guys to stick around for. So please make sure you go ahead and like the video and subscribe to the channel. Now, <clears throat> as y'all know, uh, it's probably the third, the second or third day in the NBA season, and it seems like the sky is already falling for the Lakers. People are already calling for Rob Palenka's job. Oh, what is this guy doing? What is that guy doing? Who can we blame? Who can we blame? All of these different things, right? And one of the people at the forefront of this panic is Stephen A. Smith. He's been the one saying that, oh my God, it could be almost be over. We don't know what's going to happen. This season is in, is in jeopardy. All of these different things. However, four months ago, Stephen A. Smith was on ESPN First Take. And it was actually the day when CJ McCollum and JJ Redick were there. And, and that was the day. Uh, that they had that very weird uh, exchange on the show. During that show, the backdrop of that show was they were discussing the new hiring of Darvin Ham as head coach, and Russell Westbrook was at the uh, was at the press conference, right? And they were talking about that. And during that segment, Stephen A. Smith said that he still believed that if the Lakers had a healthy LeBron James and Anthony Davis, that he still believed that the Lakers would be able to make it into the playoffs. But for those of you who cannot believe that he actually said that just four months ago, what we're going to do is we're going to play what he had to say here, uh, play his comments, and then we're going to come back and react to it. Take a listen to what Stephen A. Smith had to say just four months ago. To answer the question directly, I believe if LeBron James and Anthony Davis are healthy, the Lakers could go to the playoffs with those two guys. My reservations are extremely deep about Russell Westbrook in this system. I think that Russell Westbrook is the kind of dude you got to give the ball to and let him do whatever it is that he does that has made him a perennial all-star and a future Hall of Famer. To work within the concept of a team run by LeBron James is extremely more difficult. And so... Him being at that press conference yesterday, actually to me, I didn't like it. And the reason I didn't like it is because, you know, yes, you're still a member of the Lakers, but we all know everybody's been talking about what the Lakers need to do when it comes to Russell Westbrook. He's entering the last year of his deal. He's getting $47 million. Uh, will somebody take him? Well, okay, you're going to keep him. How are you going to fix what happened last year? This is the issue. I, I don't like. I don't like when people I'm, I'm I'm being careful about what I say, guys, just so you know, because Russell Westbrook is the, kind of, is the kind of guy that when you say something, he thinks it's a character issue. Like you're getting at him. And I have to explain this on several, several occasions. I ain't talking about Russell Westbrook, the man. I think he's a good brother. He's got his heart in the right place. There's nothing about his character to smear. He can't shoot the ball well. He's not the greatest point guard as it becomes to decision making. He turns the ball over. And now he's been struggling to reach 68% for the free throw line. So when you take all of those things into consideration and you see what you've seen from the Los Angeles Lakers last year, I think as long as LeBron James and Anthony Davis are healthy, you can overcome it enough to be a playoff team. But that's about the height of my expectations for the Los Angeles Lakers. So you heard what he had to say, right? He said that this year, I think it was at the end of last season or towards the end of whatever it is, heading into the summertime. So that's what he said. Now what we want to do is we want to play what he had to say just after the Lakers finished playing their second game of the entire regular season. We want to play what he had to say yesterday on ESPN First Take. Take a listen to that. Rob Palenka, got, I don't give a damn about his contract extension. He got to do something with this roster. Yeah. Because, again, they play hard, they're athletic. I like what Darvin Ham's doing. I like the energy and zest and fervor he's getting out of them. LeBron James, Anthony Davis, they're kicking it out to open shooters, y'all. They ain't making open shots. They missing open shots. That is not something you can rectify. If you can't shoot, you can't shoot. You better go and make some. You better get a deal done because this is on the verge of a disaster. A disaster. Late the season might be over before Thanksgiving. That's all I got. Yeah, say. Lee. What, 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 what am I supposed? What, what am I supposed to do with all of this information right here? What are we supposed to do with it? I never thought, 
I never thought that the Lakers were going to win their first two games this season. And this panic is solely dependent upon your expectations of this team. Going into the regular season, most of us didn't think that the Lakers were going to beat the reigning defending champions on opening night. I didn't think that. I don't think most people did. That's the first thing. Then they dropped the second game against the Los Angeles Clippers. The team, and a team that a lot of people have picked to be possibly one of the teams that could make it to the Western Conference Finals. So the Lakers lose to the Golden State Warriors. Then they play the Clippers, and then they lose. What's the big surprise here? Why? What's the need for all of this panicking? Now, some people are saying, well, what are you saying? You expect the Lakers to be one of the best? I just thought that the Lakers are going to be a better team this season for a few reasons. <coughs> Excuse me. Number one, they hired a new coach who would bring a new voice in the locker room. Number two, one would hope that if they have uh, their better players um, available for more games this season, like Anthony Davis and these guys, if they get injured, that would also give them a better chance to win more ball games this season. That's another thing. I also thought that given the fact that the Lakers were giving up about 115 points last year in the regular season, that they would improve their defense. And as a matter of fact, in that game against the Clippers, the Lakers showed the entire NBA community that if in fact they decide to play defense and they play hard on the defensive end of the floor, they could make a lot of these games competitive. I'm not saying the shooting is not an issue. It absolutely is an issue. I'm not saying the Russell Westbrook fit is not a bad one. It absolutely is a bad one. But it's not as bad as you're making it seem unless you had some type of overblown expectations for this team coming into the season. What's the panic about? What has changed in just two games? Russell Westbrook had a very subpar game on the offensive side of the floor against the Clippers. But he plays some great defense towards the, uh, the, the end of that game. So I'm not understanding what all of this is about. It remains unclear to me as to why the sky is falling, why we need to get this guy, and why we need... It's only been two games. My question is, did you expect them to beat those teams? Was it not a competitive game against the... Uh, what is it? The Clippers? I'm not saying that the Lakers can't make any improvements or don't need to make any improvements. That's not what I'm saying at all. What I'm trying to understand is, what is the need for all of this panic? You just said it a few months ago that this team could still make the playoffs. So give it some time. There's no way I think any of us could conceive, uh, uh, conceive that the Lakers could end up winning 33 games a season or less. I don't think they're going to be that bad. I really don't. Unless you're saying that based off of what you've seen in those two games, you're ready to say you're ready to hit the panic button. Really? That early? To me, I think I think that's a little bit overreaction. Like that, that's that's a that's too much. Now, maybe I'm overblowing this, but I think this is creating a panic. And to me, I don't really know what the hell Stephen A. Smith is talking about. LeBron has been healthy, Anthony Davis has been healthy relatively. So what's the issue? Why are you saying this? What's the big panic? To me, I don't understand it. So what I want to know from you guys, what do you think about what Stephen A. Smith is saying, do you think that the sky is truly falling or is it a little bit too soon to draw a conclusion about a team two games into the regular season? Whatever you guys think, please leave your thoughts and comments in the comment section and we catch you all on the next episode.